Hey guys, welcome to Ask for Fun, where I answer your questions on programming and career development. And today's question is, how do you get started with open source contributions? Before I get into how you can do it, let me tell you the advantages of being an open source contributor. The first is, if you're still learning how to program, then it's a very good way to get feedback from other engineers on your code. Because once you make a PR as a contribution, they will all comment on your PR and they will tell you how to do whatever you're doing better. The second advantage is that, let's say you are already an expert in a field, and in order for you to brand yourself as an expert, you just find open source repos in the same field and you contribute to them so that the users of those repos, they will see that you're one of the contributors and you'll gain more respect. So by now, I hope you're convinced that it's a really good idea to contribute to open source software. So how exactly do you get started? Well, there are multiple levels to it. So after you identify the repo where you want to contribute, first of all, just go through all of the documentation of that repo and try to find grammatical errors or spelling mistakes. Now, if you're not able to find any yourself, paste all the documentation into a tool called Grammarly, and it will detect those errors and it'll give them to you. So make those changes and make a PR. And open source maintainers love people that make changes to their documentation because that doesn't just help those maintainers, but it helps the entire community so that they can understand the documentation better and thereby use the product better, right? Now, the second level is go through the examples and demos for that repo and make sure that they are up to date. Now, most of these repos, they get updated every single day. If the examples are even a few months old, chances are either they are not up to date in the sense that they're giving errors or they're just, they're just not depicting all the functionalities of that repo. So update those examples and make a PR. And same as the documentation, they will love these kinds of contributions from you and also help you gain better understanding of that particular piece of software. Now, a third example is to make changes to the core software of that library. And the way you do it is, first of all, go through the issues section and see what bugs or enhancements are filed. And try and look at the piece of code that relates to those bugs. A lot of times those bugs are complicated, right? And they may not be straightforward for you to fix. So my suggestion is that just use that library yourself, build out a few examples, and see what enhancements you might like to that repo or what things are just not working out. You know, are you facing some challenges, some bugs, and raise them uh, in the issue section. And along with an issue, also submit a PR that closes that issue. Now, they may be like the tiniest of changes, and that's okay. As long as you're improving that repo, the maintainers would love your contributions. So just go through this three-step approach for any open source repo you're interested in, and you will be able to make contributions right away. So hope this was beneficial to you. And if you have more questions, just leave them in the comment section below or tweet at me, at Irfan Baki, and maybe in the next video, I'll cover one of your questions. If you like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe as I'll have more of these videos coming soon. So I'll see you next time.